in the meantime, I guess we'll just um, listen to me talk. I guess. Hey, I have a I have an idea. Let's. Uh, I'll I'll lead for a little bit and then I'll pass it back to everybody. Right. Yeah. Uh, this is a new innovation. So I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Jing, I'm CEO of Buddha Vista, and today we're getting together for Vera's final internship presentation. This is what we call the intern graduation presentation. I'd like to introduce some other people on the team right now for the future viewer of this video. So we've got Vidi, who's the chief operating officer. He's the, uh, the, the icon represented on the lower right hand side of the screen. And uh, let's see, who else do we have in the group? We have Shaylin, who is our interim uh, vice chapter lead for human resources. Jenna is an intern here at Booked Vista. Arby is a, uh, Arby, what is your official title here, actually? Human Resource Officer? Yes, okay, Arby is a Human Resource Officer here in the HR chapter. We have SM Schumann. Uh, Schumann is an intern here uh, with our HR program. And we have AR Iren, who's a PR intern. Um, okay, so I guess I'll pass it back to Jenna to lead us through as moderator for this presentation. Okay, thank you, Jean. So today we will be Vera, who will be having her internship graduation presentation. So Vera, if you're ready, I will pass the time on to you now. Okay, thank you, Jenna. So I guess I should start the presentation. Uh, can you see your screen? Yes, we can see your screen. And uh, we would also like to introduce Prakan, who is also a HR intern here. Yes, uh, now you can continue. Sorry, Prakan. I don't know how I missed you. OK. Um, OK, I'll just start this. So hi, everyone. So today I'll be presenting my um, internship graduation presentation. Uh, so yeah, let's get this started. So first, I would like to acknowledge everyone and uh, to the Bukit Visa team. So thank you so much for being patient and guiding me throughout my internship period. And also to put trust for all the responsibilities and delegations given. So once again, thank you very much. And um, the reason why I put the quote here, um, actually, like, um, I mainly look to uh, look out to this uh, quote that's very inspirational. It's from Anna Wintour. And she said that it takes time to develop talents and voice because the more you're seeing along the way and the more you will feed what you're creating. So I, to be honest, uh, turns out the three months internship is not enough for me, you know? Like uh, I need like a longer time, but I do like uh, uh, take this three months internship as like a learning chance. So I actually learned a lot throughout uh, this three months internship and I'm slowly applying what I learned to like uh, the small details and what like we've missed uh, in Bukit Vista's uh, documentation and material. And also like I uh, ever like talked to Mr. Jing about this. So uh, I was actually kind of worried because I don't think like I innovate like big stuff but then I rem remember like Mr. Jing said, and I took this as, uh, uh, not as a CEO, but like from my HR chapter lead interim, he said that continue what you do best. And actually like um, doubles my motivation to like, uh, to keep like focusing what I think that I do best. And yeah, and we can see like the result later at the end. So for the table of contents, there are four. So introduction, projects, my personal development, and conclusion. So first is the introduction, basically uh, the day-to-day -day basis uh, of uh, as an HR intern. So uh, indirectly, I contributed in all three funnels of the HR chapter. So there are three, top, middle, and bottom. For the top is basically awareness. Middle is recruitment and selection. Bottom is um, company culture, employer transformation, and advocacy. But eventually, I became more involved in the middle funnel, which is what uh, I remember during my interview, I said that I really want to like master CV screening interviews. And yeah, and uh, what I've said earlier, uh, the top funnel I, I do, I did university outreach and sale partnerships. I didn't sell much, but uh, I do uh, sell one partnership with UMN. And for the middle, uh, I mainly do recruitment and selection, and also the uh, doing the employee trial 
and onboarding program. For the bottom funnel, I did one on one, and um, I'm in charge in the content making and also like approaching the Vistan and Visterns for their birthdays and anniversaries. Yep. And also, the last is the ID tools, which is mainly a uh, Discord. And this is like a little bit, uh, not a little bit, the small achievement that I came to find when I was making the presentation. So, um, 42.11% uh, of the candidates I interviewed passed two trials, so only solely two trials. Um, I wouldn't say this is actually a really high percentage, but um, it is an achievement also because like uh, the trials that I passed actually like have high quality, but not to mention that there are some like, uh, I also like detected, like detected, uh, what's how what is it false positive also but yeah and then the next one is like 8.77 is the average number of trial candidates per batch uh, i think i should uh estimate into nine but yeah this is like the uh, overall num average number of people in a batch so it actually increased by four than the previous batch before i handled the trial programs and um, 51.89 percent of the trial candidates that I handle, they pass trials and uh, already onboarded. And the last is actually like quite big, uh, as in the in June, start of June, I think, uh, I was uh, delegated to uh, as the PIC of the chapter ready new hires. So um, we did some like a new system to like do better planning and forecasting for the resource management. So it turns out 11 out of 14 roles have reached its, its SLA for July. And next is the projects. Uh, so these are like the projects or delegations throughout the internship. So first, this is a one thing project. So actually this was delegated by Sasha, our former CM intern. I was uh, delegated to make the BVC Talk 19 blog. The objective is actually to advertise BVC Talk YouTube videos and to raise awareness of Bukit Vista community. And what I learned is, uh, of course, copywriting and also like um, informational background research skills. Like I have to do in-depth research about OG architects in order to like um, build, you know, make this uh, uh, blog. And directly, I learn about OG architects services which is they're a great organization, guys. <laughs> and the next is the UR outreach system. Uh, this is like my main project throughout my internship. So I couldn't have done this without uh, FID from BI. But again, I would like to um, shout out to Mr. Jing for like uh, approaching me and telling that uh, if you have this system like with Redash and stuff, and because if, I wasn't approached about that. I think my documentation system will like skip traditional and like very basic. So thank you, Mr. Jing. And the objective of this is to improve outreach documentation and also to keep track of outreach activity movements. And uh, finally, uh, the last is from Redash is uh, enabling the data visualization, visualization to allow better analysis and future strategic planning. And what I learned from here from this is details matter and to never settle because we um, actually like did a lot of like changes and improvement from like the very first uh, product. And the second is like uh, uh, the usage exposure to Redash. Actually, like it's basically how I uh, use Redash and how uh, to read the data and stuff. And the next is LinkedIn content management. It was actually delegated from our um, former Vistin, which is Kasintia, but now I'm uh, doing it with Kanadia from PD. And the objective of this is to raise awareness, mainly targeting the employee user funnel. So uh, if you can see in the first screenshot, um, I actually picked the time range from where I started the uh, project until the end of my internship. And uh, we got 19 new followers and the engagement rate is 39. Um, 
I wouldn't say it's a really high engagement rate, but if you can see in the next screenshot, uh, it, it is the uh, metrics for the engagement rate for each post that we have posted. Uh, some we have uh, we have the highest we have some highest um, engagement rate up to like seventy two percent, and for the average like around forty to fifty percent. So it's actually like quite high and very engaging. And this is the employee transformation services. Um, basically, um, about Discord. So the idea to have Discord to implement Discord to Book and Vista is actually not from me. I think it's from our former HR intern, Kevin. But uh, indirectly, I was uh, delegated to build the Discord culture here in BV, and I gladly accepted that. So from the first screenshot is uh, from our May EES asking uh, the employees whether uh, Discord helped them with brief discussions. And 76.5% said yes. Um, but I do notice that they, some of them still like, um, not really understand like what's the use of Discord and how can it like be really effective. Uh, so I made the communication tools best practices. So it's, uh, consists of like the expectation settings and the urgencies and like the number of response and stuff. So it's actually like, um, actually like made the employees to like set the right expectations and not feel like uh, lost with all the communication tools we had. And then the second screenshot, uh, so it is the result from our June EES results. So if you can see there, Discord actually ranked third with Trello the second and Slack the first. Um, this is actually like a really great improvement, I could say. So I think the Discord culture is getting better and better, but there's still more and more room for improvement. So yeah. And the last is trial program. This is, uh, I mentioned as a day-to-day -day, day -day task, but I think this is also a project because I actually done a lot of like improvements to make the uh work more like efficient so i started with the revamping the daily journals and also like how to approach the candidates and actually like um make my work faster like before for the administrative tasks i have to spend like two to three days because every candidates have different reply times right but with changing how i approach them actually like helps faster i could finish everything in a day so yeah, and then I also made a spreadsheet. Mm, this also helped um, uh, measuring the SLAs better. And also like we know the current status of the Western now. And yeah, the third one is what I learned. So how I positively transform in terms of hard skills. So obviously ID tools and I learned proofreading because I did uh, content management and I make captions and I also made job descriptions and stuff. So proofreading is actually like, I I improve a lot in there. And an analytical skills, basic poster design, uh, project management and public speaking. In terms of soft skills, uh, it's never settle and fail fast. I do think that I improve a lot in failing fast because uh, now that I realize that I learn fast from failing fast, so like I worry less and I think that it's okay to fail fast, like this is a room for improvement. And then employee relations, discover and prioritize leadership skills, time management, and interpersonal skills. And the conclusion, so everything is wrapped in one pyramid. This is the employee transformation pyramid. And this is, um, uh, the pyramid is made by Mr. Jing. And I think I positively transform, uh, especially the third, fourth, and fifth stage. Uh, but I could, if I have to be transform transparent, like uh, about understanding performing KPIs, I do understand the KPIs, but I think I have to implement the measurement and like to watch the KPIs more in my projects in the future. And yeah. That's all for my presentation. Thank you. 
Okay, thank you, Vera, for the uh, presentation. I think like we can all agree that you really learned a lot over here. Uh, maybe, yeah, Jing, do you have anything you want to say? Actually, I just wanted to add something about the... Uh, I, sorry, I didn't add this actually while you were speaking. Our LinkedIn engagement rate currently is 45% which is actually 50% better than Gojack, uh, which is at 30%, I think. So I think that states uh, something about the, the innovative and industry leading way that we're managing our engagement on LinkedIn. So, so congratulations on that. Um, overall, I think maybe I should go last actually. I'll, I'll, I, I just wanted to have that as my comment. I'll go last, I'll let Jenna circulate um, our impressions of Vera's internship first, and I'll come last to speak. Okay, thank you. So maybe uh, to Shumin, do you have anything you want to add or say? Uh, yeah, I just want to say like um, I had a good experience like working with Vera as well. I think like um, from the day like she approached me, you know, to like um, start on the trial program. Yeah, I think she started that connection from there, and yeah, like I remember like. She gave like quite prompt replies or so, and then um she answered like my questions as well, yeah. And then um when I came in to like BB officially like for my uh for my trial and and then also during the internship, yeah. I feel like um she's always there like to support and yeah. I could always just drop her a Slack and we can just like have a conversation or a discussion, yeah. So thank you, Vera. Back to you, Jenna. Thank you. So yeah, like I guess a lot of us has been like approached by Vera for the trial program and she has helped us a lot. It's like helping us to like get into BB and like slowly accommodating to the culture here. So that is like one of like Vera's um legacy perhaps, like how she helped all of us new interns to get to come into BB. Then maybe to uh, Farkhan, do you have anything you want to add? Um, actually, uh, I met her firstly at the trial program and she was the guidance for us. Yeah, maybe because I was in the same batch with Shumin and <clears throat> Uh, Farah, Farah guided me from the first day here. I met VV and since then, I see her develop so much, and yeah, being very good at discuss discussing friend, and I really love to work with her because she is so humble and she's so approachable, and she's very open minded. She takes all the ideas together, and after that, uh, she produces the best, the concludes the best idea. All of all of that. Okay, maybe that's all from me. All right, thank you. So yeah, I agree. Like Vera is definitely one of the more approachable ones here, and it's easy to do, like look for her whenever we have anything that we want to talk to her about. And maybe to Iron before we move on to the full time employees. Yes, actually, I want to thank you for Vera for becoming our mentors and guide during the trial programs. And she helped me a lot in PR girl to tell me what shall I do and what shall I give to like do improvement in Instagram content and also LinkedIn contents. So yeah, thank you, Vera, for your guides. Thank you, Iron. So yeah, uh, what about VD? Since like Vera mentioned that you guys did the university relations outreach system together. Right. Uh, yeah, I, I worked with Vera with the university outreach uh, data centralization. Basically, we um, collect this data and make a more, like modern version since people keep like writing things down on Google Sheet and yeah, it was a pleasure working with Vera. Uh, she came up with the idea. She knows what she wants. Uh, I think that's what's important for like a developer, right? She knows what she wants as a client. And yeah, it's always a pleasure uh, working with Vera. She's definitely one of the uh, more empathetic people in Bukit Vista. Uh, <laughs> we have this, uh, the logical people. And then Vera is uh, for sure the one of the most empathetic ones. All right, thank you. So yeah, moving on to RV. I think RV has been 
um being like taking care of Vera ever since she came <laughs> in, right? <laughs> so anything you want to say? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I definitely agree with um Fidi about the empathetic girl. Um, she always try to understand people and help them to like nurture themselves. So that's one good thing. And then Vera is actually coming from the last big batch that I handled. So I used to handle um, trials and onboarding, right? And she came from the last big batch that I handled. And um, I don't know, I'm so proud looking at interns. They became um, positively transformed, even though I um, only have like um, little contribution to that transformation, but I'm so proud. And the fact that we are working together right now, it's cool. Keep improving. Thank you. Oh my God, that's so cute. So yes, like a lot of proud people here for Vera. And what about Shaleen, our vice chapter lead for HR? Um. Okay. Like I think it's similar to like uh what everyone has said just now. So like um ever since her internship, right? So like um yeah, Vera actually does like possess this like um empathetic side of herself and. She actually like with her personality like this. She actually like kind of um, lights up the HR team as well. Um, just to some extent that like with her presence, that we we all like we all we are all um, really happy because of her presence like, in the HR chapter, as well as the um, accomplishment that she has actually uh, mentioned just now, like doing the presentation. I believe that that is also like. Um, part of her development journey, like during her internship here, like um, we have seen also like her progression, like uh, from the start of her internship until like um, to this day that it actually um, like have progressed a lot and like showing like um, results as well. Like we just actually um, not, um, what, how, how do I like um, put it in words? Yeah. So it's like, uh, it's actually showing better results than expected so it's like yeah it's like she's she has this power to actually like um execute things and planning planning things executing and um and in the end result it's it's actually like showing better like results than the um, expected ones during the planning um phase of the project itself and i think um it's also um showing her um uh, contribution as well and um it's been it's been really great as well like to have vera like in the company and yeah i think everyone um thinks the same as well in this case and yeah um uh, we're very much um really appreciate you like in the company as well like during your internship over here so yeah i think uh that's all for my comments back to you jenna Thank you, Shaleen. So yes, like a lot of people do mention that Vera is a very empathetic person. She's easy to talk to and I think she really suits the HR role really well because like she always cares for people and like she always tries to like improve the things that are already in place here in BB. So yeah, moving on to Jing. Okay, thank you very much, Jenna. And thank you everybody for your comments. I would like to actually kind of go back on the timeline in our relationship with Vera. So the first time I remember Vera was, or my first time I encountered Vera was when her and Ilham came together for, I think, a, uh, 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 what was it, the internship discussion with me. Um, But the moment, like, I really remember was when they both came together to talk about their project presentations. And I remember Vera's actual stunning visual presentation (laughs) Uh, showing all the things that she had saw. So I'll, I'll be I'll be as frank as possible. I think um, Vera showed kind of like actually a really interesting curve during her, her period as an intern here. Um, there was a lot of potential in the very beginning, and I saw that, hey, look, Vera has high amount of understanding, high amount of uh, capacity and, and motivation. Um, somewhere near the middle, that kind of petered out a little bit. And I remember I had to, I had to kind of remind Vera of, uh, through Trello, are we still going to work on these projects and such? And at that point, I was kind of like uncertain, right? I was thinking like maybe, maybe I saw the best of her at the very beginning, and every day after maybe was was going to be a little bit of a, a disappointment afterwards. But then, um, a few weeks after, 
I think after she had finished some of her duties at school, Vera rebounded. And this is where I saw the transformation starting to begin. Um, of course, I think Vera had some, some weaknesses. I think maybe follow-up was one of them. But she somehow overcame it. She somehow overcame, and she started focusing on her strengths. And her strengths were her creativity, her empathy, and her ability to, to connect things and her strong ability to understand. And then because she had these strengths, she then leveraged other people outside of her chapter to bring them in to work collectively on a problem. I think putting Vera in the orientation program for new people has obviously, uh, the results of it show right now, right? These people here at your, at, your, um, at your presentation are some of the people that you guided and transformed during their internship programs. And so what I started seeing was, was Vera started harnessing her strengths to really transform not just herself, but other people, right? Um, and that comes, I think, back to the very beginning again, because she saw that what we were doing in the company that could be improved was we weren't thinking about how to make the onboarding process more consistent and easier for, for new candidates. So um, that to me is actually a, a very interesting, that's almost like a hero arc, right? So you start out here, you kind of fall a little bit, and then you come back. And I, I think I'll call it the Vera arc right now. Because what I've, what I've discovered is that that arc actually indicates that somebody is probably ready to become full-time here. Um, it is generally better than an arc where somebody is just continuously good uh, because we haven't seen them actually deal with any of their struggles yet. So I definitely saw Vera deal with that struggle. And I think that um, it's a testimony to her authenticity as well. One last thing I'd like to add is uh, I think Vera underestimated herself on her own transformation especially the part where she stated about the KPIs. Um, by what Vidi just spoke with earlier, the, uh, the dashboard for HR using the analytics, I think that means you actually have a pretty good understanding of KPIs because you wouldn't be able to actually call that out uh, without understanding the KPIs. And, and Vidi himself said, you're a good client because you know what you want. And uh, understanding the KPIs is knowing what you want, I think. And secondly, I also noticed that you added a new KPI to internship trial programs I had never seen before. This was really original, which was the batch size. And the more I think about that, I think that's a really good KPI because the, the larger the batch size, um, I think the easier it is to fulfill our SLAs too as well. So that that is actually, um, I wouldn't underestimate yourself in that regard. Uh, anyhow, we, we saw the potential here and that's why we offered you a full-time role now. And we're happy to see that you've accepted it and uh, you'll be part of our mission uh, for, for, yeah, forever, hopefully, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and anyway, um, that's, that's, yeah, that's it. That's, that's my two bits. Okay, thank you. Maybe to Vera, is there anything else you want to add? Um, actually, like, uh, yeah, basically, I, again, I would like to thank everyone, like even the new interns also, they helped me to like, develop into a better person also like um yeah i mean like uh the ideas that they share is like very very great and i and i also like glad if i do guide you guys into like a better person uh and like once once you guys you know like graduate from this internship so yeah thank you everyone okay thank you so yeah i think that's about all uh, if there's nothing else, then yeah, I hope that. Uh, okay, maybe Jing, you want to say something first? Oh my God, you're reading my my mute button. Okay, uh, not just a fun, fun, fun tease here for Vera. Vera, who do you think should watch this video? Do you mean like uh, someone in the company or? Yeah, like oh, who would you who would you want to let's say uh, see this in the future? The new the trial kids ah okay there you go <laughs> I, yeah the reason i brought it up because i think this is the first um this is the first presentation uh where somebody actually had a, a an offer right at the end so it can be actually i think it can be a success story uh in that sense yeah okay that's it for me okay thank you so yeah we hope that like we will like vera will continue to inspire delight throughout the company through her being her new role here, which is a full-time employee, and that we can share this success story out to like other interns in the future. So 
So thank you guys for your time to like be here and like watch Vera's presentation. And I hope you guys have a great day. So thank you.